Right, so zero to $300,000 in 12 months. Simple, not easy. I'm gonna break down what we did, how we did it and how you can do it too. Again, it's not simple. I mean, it's simple, it isn't easy at all, but uh, let's break it down. This is just a screenshot of our, uh, not the payment processing, but the dashboard where we track sales. So we launched the platform, I'll go over what the platform is. We launched it last year around June. And since then uh, we did over $300,000 in sales. Again, zero to 300K in 12 months. So the first 12 months of its existence, right? Uh, we had a, our best month was $40,000 in November, 2022 and uh, fully bootstrapped. I mean, so anyone can do it, right? No outside investment, no VC money, nothing, just myself and my co-founder, right? Now, what is this and how can you do it too? And uh, I won't reveal the platform if you wanna know what it is, uh, just comment below and I'll, I'll let you know what it is. But my goal with this video is just to show you that Anyone can do it and that it's simple, right? The, uh, the um, concepts I'm going to go over in this video are simple. They're not easy at all to do, right? Because you've watched these dropshipping videos on how, how to make millions with dropshipping or how to make millions with SMMA. And the concepts are, are simple to grasp. That's why these videos get millions of views, right? Because they're simple to grasp. But when you go out and do stuff, it's, not really, it's never really that easy, right? And there's a bunch of, of issues, issues sorry, you'll face, but those issues and your ability to overcome those issues, it's what's going to make you uh, succeed in business, right? So let's go over uh, what, what this is all about. So what we did is we created a platform, a freelance marketplace to be exact. So I'm sure you know about Fiverr or Upwork. These platforms essentially, and our platform, what we did is on it, we aggregated aggregate hopefully i'm saying that correct and curated people right these are people right so you as a user would go on a platform skim through all these people and their services right you would hire them and on every transaction we would make money right we take a commission right it is a freelance marketplace a freelance platform you can call it a curation platform because we curate people uh, there's platforms that curate um, services. Uh, for example, Airbnb cur curates uh, housing, so places. Um, there's other platforms that curates uh, uh, other people, services, products, uh, places, whatever it is. You can even curate companies. There's this platform where you can essentially list your startup for sale. So besides that, essentially what these platforms are, are niche platforms where you can aggregate and curate people, places, things, products, whatever you want to Aggregate, in, aggregate, sorry, aggregate in one centralized platform, right? That's the whole idea of this, right? And unlike SMMA or dropshipping, there's an intrinsic value to the platform you're building, right? Because not only are you building a brand, right? These are brandable platforms. And I'll show you ours right here. Nothing special. It's called vetted.com with three Ts. And again, it is a platform where you can buy and sell uh, services from SEO experts, from freelancers. You can buy their services, buy their time. And again, we take a fee on every single transaction. Now, uh, what is this and why is this valuable? Again, you're building a brand, right? Your brand has intrinsic value, right? And you're also building a, in this, in this case, this is a software, a marketplace or a platform. These are softwares, right? So there's value in the code, right? And even more so there's value in the network effect you're able to build here, right? Because yes, it's kind of easy or it's kind of simple to go out and build an Airbnb, right? The hard part to Airbnb is not really the code and the platform. Of course, that's hard and the platform is optimized for conversions and to be the best of the best, right? But the hard part there is getting people to list their houses on there and getting people to rent houses from other people. So that, that trust that you build on the brand, right? That's why the brand is so valuable, right? That's why they're valued at over a billion dollars because Airbnb is the go-to for renting and selling houses. And I'm sure there's a bunch of other platforms, but they don't have the trust that Airbnb has, right? Again, they can copy their code, but at the end of the day, people choose Airbnb, whether that's because of their fees or because of their trust or because if they list a house there, they know it's gonna be rented out. So there's a bunch of different ways or reasons why people would choose another platform over yours, but and again, I guess the best way to combat this is to go niche down. And I've spoken about this in the past, but going niche down is super important. I'll give you two examples, right? Amazon, they niche down via product, right? So Amazon niche down via product. At the start of their, their, their company, they only sold books, right? Amazon only sold books online, right? They were online bookstore, pretty straightforward. Then they expanded to everything, every single, every single thing, right? You can buy, Jet skis on there. You can buy, I don't know, you can buy anything you want, right? Airbnb, on the other hand, they niche down in terms of location, 
right? They started, I think, so in, in San Francisco, and only then they expand throughout the world. So as you can see here, the, the best way to grow and scale these platforms is to start niche down, whether that's location-based niching or uh, actual niche-based niching, meaning whether the product or service or, or a certain type of person, for example, a directory for AI consultants, a directory for uh, math teachers for the second grade. I don't know. You, you get the point, right? You got a niche super, super niche down, and then you can expand from there. A, a platform for tutors, right? Platform for um, turtle caretakers, right? You, you get the point. Or you can niche down based on location. So if you were to build an Airbnb, you could do a luxury version of Airbnb for that specific city, right? I'm, I'm from Portugal, from Lisbon. So Lisbon is the capital of Portugal. We could do an Airbnb just for Lisbon, right? Uh, I guess we could, we need to have some different uh, spins to it, right? Maybe a luxury high-end Airbnbs or just a uh, for example, just uh, three houses, right? You get the point, right? Go niche down and then once you get the market, expand. Because if you start super broad, it's very hard to first find out what the what your customer is or your customer is because you're targeting anyone. So you cannot build features tailored to the people because the features you build need to be generic enough to capture everyone. And if you try to please everyone, you're, you're not going to succeed, right? Again, that's why these billion dollar businesses start niche down. And if you look throughout the whole generation of successful businesses, they start super niche down, right? For example, I guess I can give you an example of Apple, right? Apple, uh, for not mistaken, they started with computers. Now they have uh, uh, earwear, eyewear, they have phones, they have music, they have they have all, watches, they have all these different um, line of products, but they started with one, one or two, right? And then they expanded. Um, so that's, that's a big one. It's niching down when, when creating these types of platforms. Now, these are, of course, hard to, to get the ball rolling, right? But as soon as you have the ball rolling, it's, it, they essentially work on autopilot, right? Essentially, once you're able to get enough liquidity, so people buying and selling and buying and selling over and over again, you create this infinite, not infinite, but this cycle that uh, just flows through, right? Of course, you have to do some work, but the amount of work is minimal. So if, if we were to draw a, draw a graph between, I guess, effort and time, at the beginning, you're going to have a lot of effort, right? You need to put in a lot of effort. But as time goes on, your effort in terms of at least um, certain things declines over time. Now, of course, if you want to make this a, a huge company, you, of course, need to, to put in the effort again. But just to say, again, this is not a, a passive income solution, far from it. But just to show you that the effort at the beginning is much greater than the effort at the quote unquote end. Because as soon as you hit liquidity, you can start focusing on other things, right? So the effort, I guess, to grow and get people on, because you got to message the people, you got to message, let's say you're really building a housing platform. You got to convince people to get on your platform. You got to convince buyers to buy housing on your platform or tutors or services, whatever, whatever it is, it's high intense effort. But yeah, I guess it's with any business you start, but with platforms in specific, I do believe that there's a lot of effort you have to put in at first to get the, to get, sorry, to get the ball rolling. And uh, you're going to have to do a lot of things that don't scale. Um, so yeah, that's, that's about it. That's what I wanted to cover here today. Hopefully these videos are valuable because I, I want to bring to this channel uh, and I want to talk about stuff here that, uh, I have experience with. I have, I have, um, skin in the game, right? I don't want to talk about stuff that I don't understand or stuff that I am not qualified to speak about. And then marketplaces, these platforms, I think I'm somewhat qualified to speak about. I don't, I don't see anyone on YouTube, uh, speaking about these platforms, how they work how they were able to acquire clients, the buyers and the sellers, if it is a marketplace, if it is a directory, you only need, I guess, one side of it. So yeah, let me know what you think. Um, by the way, uh, I do have a, a software to sell you, nichebase.co. You can try it for free, by the way, so no need to to do it, to pay if you don't want to. But essentially what this is, is my uh, tentative or my try, I guess, to get you to build one a platform like this, right? Uh, this is for directors at the time, so no marketplaces, meaning that people cannot transact on the platform. You can, we have systems to make it so that they can transact off platform. So we have integrated payments and all that. And uh, essentially what you can do is build a platform like the one I just described. For example, this was one for uh, AI consultants, right? People go here, they're listed here, they can pay to be listed here, can submit their applications. Uh, other I guess, students can go here, view their profiles. You can edit all this and get in touch with them. Uh, you can pay, for, you can have them pay for this. You can have their portfolios here. You can do a bunch of stuff. Uh, you can have a community as well, newsletter, all that. We're, it's still a work in progress, but we're adding features every every couple of weeks and um, making the product better every every day, every single day, sorry. Um, and yeah, that's, that's about it. That's again, my take and my try on getting more people to try and build out these platforms, these assets, right? Don't go into SMMA or, or drop shipping. And I, of course, I know I'm biased because I own one of these platforms and I'm selling you a service on how to do it too. 
but I've tried dropshipping in the past. I've tried SMMA and it's not that they don't work. Anything works, right? Dropshipping works, SMMA works. Uh, I mean, every single business model in the world works, right? Otherwise, it, there wouldn't be a business model. You just got to keep at it for long enough. Now, my opinion is that if you're spending your time, money, resources, all that um, into a business, right? I think it's best to do it and spend it on building a, a brand, like a branded platform that you can uh, that people view as an asset that makes you money today, tomorrow, it makes you money when you sell it, right? So that's my take on it. Again, like I said before, I'm a bit biased, of course, but yeah, that's it. I'll leave a link for this in the description. Try it out. You can try it for free. No, if you don't like it, just cancel it. No need, no need to pay anything. And um, yeah, if you want to know a bit more information on, on all this, I do have uh, a couple of videos on uh, that go a bit further on how to monetize these platforms and all that. And uh, I do have a course. So if you want to buy it, link down below. It's not just a video course. I mean, it has coaching. You can speak one-on-one -on -one with me. There's weekly calls, all that. Oh uh, yeah, that's it. I'll leave a link for that in the description. Let me know what you think about these videos. Uh, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.